Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about a vinyl record. It's an old one, it's actually from 1999. I'm going to tell you which one that is in a, in a few seconds. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It would be great to have you on board. Uh, this is Good Morning Tom. Uh, so let's start the, the video, the review. Um, I'm going to be talking about a record that's been with me for quite a long time. I just picked it up from my shelf and I felt like I wanted to make a video about, about this one. Um, it's It feels like my high school record. I've been listening to this one a lot in my high school days, which are now almost, how long has that been? 20 years ago, maybe a bit more. So this record came out in 1999, I believe. And I've always had the CD but I think three years ago I bought the, the vinyl box, which was quite expensive, almost 200 euros. So that was quite a lot of money, but I knew I had to have it because it's, it's a great record. It's a great collection of songs. Um, in case you were wondering what I'm talking about, it's this beautiful record by the Magnetic Fields and it's called 69 Love Songs. And it looks like this. This is the vinyl record. I could not find the CD. It probably is somewhere, but... I couldn't find that one. So this is the, the vinyl box set, which I'm really happy with. So let's dig into this one. Yeah, it's a huge collection of songs, 69 of course. There are 69 songs on here. And in case you didn't already guess, those are 69 love songs. A variety of styles in here, there are different singers and it feels a bit nostalgic to me as well. So we have the artwork here. It comes in this beautiful hardcover case. It's called 69 Love Songs, as I said before. Originally they wanted to record 100 songs because it was such a beautiful round number, but obviously that was pretty much so. For obvious reasons, they picked the number 69, which was the second best number, I guess. Yeah, so let's look at this. This is the back. There are no song titles in here, so you really have to open it to see what's in here. Um, and the thing I love about this box is that there's this booklet. There's a great little book in here. And of course, as a poetry fan, I love lyrics. Um, and these lyrics are, I, I, I really like them. Sometimes they're hilarious. Sometimes they're just really beautiful. And sometimes you think, okay, but all great. Um, there are also a lot of pictures of the band. And then we have this conversation with uh, the singer, the writer of the songs, Stefan Merritt. If you want to know, yes, I have listened to the 69 songs in order at one sitting. Yeah, that was a nice afternoon. So let's just look at some of the pages. And there are all these great photos. And I have to say that I have to correct something. There is just the, the text in here of the conversation. There are not, the lyrics aren't in here. There are somewhere else I will show you later. This is the back, a heart. So if you want to know more about the record or how it came about, you can read the conversation between the Stephen Merritt, the singer and the interviewer. And then we have the vinyl records and on each vinyl case, there is a different group member of the magnetic field. So we have the singer right here. Then we have another one and another one. And of course, the other member is on the booklet. And I don't know why they put this one in color and all the other ones in kind of gray, black and white, but I don't know why. <laughs> so then you have the, the vinyl records, and let's just start with the first one, which is this one. Uh, and on the inside, we have all the lyrics. And that is, looks just phenomenal, right? And the lyrics are really good. I really enjoy them. As I felt like I was reading them as uh, poems. I can give you an example. Some are pretty funny. Like, for instance, this one, I don't want to get over you. 
I don't want to get over you, I guess I could take a sleeping pill and sleep at will and not have to go through what I go through. I guess I should take Prozac, right, and just smile all night at somebody new. Somebody not too bright but sweet and kind who would try to get you off my mind. I can leave this agony behind, which is just what I do if I wanted to, but I don't want to get over you. And it continues, and that's just what I love about the magnetic fields. They're songwriting it has its own particular style which is yeah different from most bands it's pretty straightforward and funny and clever i can give you more examples i do believe our love's in danger i might as well be loving air you look at me like i'm a stranger you look at me like i'm not there and it's pretty amazing that they wrote 69 songs for this record right all are double lps 10 inch um so yeah it's quite a long sit to listen to all of it yeah you never know if you have a a nice afternoon with a cup of coffee or whatever so and that was pretty much it this is um the record that i've been listening to ever since i was a high school kid and it's been with me for 20 years more than 20 years now and uh, i still really like it and if you know them you know what i'm talking about and if you don't know them you might want to check them out they're definitely worth checking out i would say i'm pretty curious if you know about the magnetic fields they're not that famous i just would like to hear that check it out so that's about it i want to thank you all for watching if you want to get into poetry or check out some different vinyls it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel i would love that that would be really awesome um thank you all for watching hope you have a lovely night or day and see you again in another video